Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first kit of the year from Tonic Studios. This one is called Country Apron and it is adorable. I've had a little sneak peek over on my emails that were sent from Tonic Studios and I think it's going to be absolutely adorable to create. So um, before I get stuck into the box and show you what's available, just a bit of housekeeping. The um, information for Tonic Studios and the links to where you can find Tonic Studios craft kits along with um, other bits and pieces are going to be in the description box below. So please check that out after the video and also i think it's a good point to probably go and subscribe to their youtube channel if you want to know what's available on a monthly basis the sales and um, product launches etc so all that being said let's get into this box and oh my goodness i know this is going to be so adorable so you get um a bag full of your nouveau products you get um, one of these folders with your craft kit dies and stamps and then you also get a folder full of your papers and cards so i'm gonna move this box out of the way and we'll get into the papers first so this collection of papers and cards are just so beautiful you can already see what you get and the colors and Kind of get a vibe of what it's about obviously the papers and cards are tasters of what you can create with and you know you're good to go as soon as you receive your kit but obviously once you finish using all these papers and cards you can use whatever you have at hand so first of all this floral paper here and um, this is double sided and it's this beautiful um ditzy flower design i'm not sure if this is available in full packs but the rest of them are i have actually got full packs to the side of me here so this is the first um couple of sheets that you're going to get in this flower design which is really really adorable then this is a classic card this is i believe corn flower blue yep so this is like a, a beautiful textured don't know if you can see it's like a textured design so that's that then i'm just going to move these this one is called ivory sheen and it's a double-sided pearlized card with this beautiful gold sheen this one here is called coral pink it's a classic card and the classic cards are usually um in packs of 10 and then they are the most popular card designs at tonic studios i have almost every color in my classic card collection this is the beautiful handmade paper and this one's called um look, pink petals and this is beautiful um design it's white on the back and it's pearlized pink at the front this one is um, a specialty card powder blue lilac and it's beautifully embossed as you can see it's got this beautiful floral design this is a beautiful shade of pink and this one is called i've got all the cards next to me so i want to give you the correct names so this one is called a princess pink and it's a pearlescent card and it is double-sided this here is this like a burnished almost like um subtle mirror card it's not like a very very shiny mirror card and these are beautiful for creating those frames around your mats and layers this is some classic cream card and this is a slightly heavier weight and in fact if i'm not mistaken i think it's 300 gsm yeah that one's a 300 gsm this one is a beautiful burgundy classic card and the correct name for it if i have it on me here and i can't find it but i'll put the name of it in the description box and the last one i've got here is gold dust glitter card and it's a beautiful beautiful gold and it's absolutely stunning to work with i love tonic studios glitter card i think they're just beautiful and they don't shed so that is all the papers and cards you're going to receive let me just put them here and then let's look at the nouveau products so you always get a bag full of nouveau products with wow a lot of full-size products today um you do sometimes get a smaller um taster bottles and i can see a new shape for the um sequins that is so adorable so let's get into them let me open the sequin first it's a beautiful color 
<clears throat> excuse me this is called prism pink and it's in this beautiful shape bottle that is just so adorable it's like a little perfume bottle um and then you get different shapes of the sequins in there so that's that then i have here some of this beautiful shimmer powder and this one is called catherine wheel and these are fabulous to use as color burst colors really really easy to use as well next full size product here is dream drops and this one is called <coughs> excuse me lemon twist and you can see already how the colors all coordinate and match so you have a nice and i think it's a nice um experience when you're crafting when you've got all your products that match and you don't have to think too much this glitter accent is called winter cranberry and it's a really really beautiful color actually really deep red then you've got um, a full size reel of the um, crafters ribbon and this one is called chili red and you get five meters of that and this is three millimeters wide so that's really nice you get a full size nouveau glitter marker and this one is called fired brick and then finally in the nouveau products you get a tub of nouveau chalk and this one is called delicate blue so again you see the colors how they go really well together so those are all my nouveau products just move them back a bit and then on to my dies and stamps wow let me just get these out of their bags okay so you can see here the main dies so um the aprons so this is the main apron with some verso dies this is a pattern die and the scope to create with this is fabulous so you've got um tools that you can use here so that you can die cut some tools if you want to make like a card for a gardener or even a masculine card who's a you know keen um person who's like a handyman um you've got some florals you've got some more little flowers here larger ones here and then you've got some kitchen utensils really really cute actually and you've got some pockets of different styles and some uh, mittens here so you can actually create like a box like a mitten box but there's no reason why you can't create a card as well sorry not a mitten box an apron box um but there's no reason why you can't create these adorable little cards and not to mention you've also got your stamp set um which you can see here try to focus it's not focusing but you've got really really nice little um sentiments baked with love happy mother's day happy father's day your special day from the kitchen of and then you can put your name here grandma's kitchen just for you thanks a bunch some little leaf designs here some little flower designs it's your day and like you've got from the kitchen now you've also got from the garden of i think it's just such a cute little set so what i'm going to do because i've just shown you everything i am going to cut into some papers and see what i'm going to create and i'll create a couple of projects with you all today so to create my first apron box um or sleeve or whatever you want to call it um you're going to need two of these so you cut this out twice I've, i'm only using the papers that are in the kit um i like to do that just to give you ideas of what you can do with exactly what's in the kit um so for my first one i've got the cream card and i've got this be the beautiful blue embossed card you can see it's so gorgeous so this is going to create your basic you're going to overlap these to create your basic shape so it's going to create this shape here with your tabs and then you're going to stick one on the front and then you're going to put one in the back and then you've got all your bits and pieces to create the decorative elements so you've got your um sides you've also got your handles you've also got ribbon in the kit so you don't have to use the die for the um the apron top so you've got those i've cut them out four times because i'm going to overlap them you'll see what i do and then i've got some decorative pieces here so i've got this piece here um this beautiful die here cuts out like stripe design so i'm thinking i might over um overlap it 
back to front and it's going to create this crisscross design so i'll be using that the leftover bit from this i've stamped from the kitchen of which is really really nice and then i've got a couple of my little pockets here my layered pockets and then my wooden spoons and spatulas that i've got cut out here using the cream card so what i'm going to do is just quickly put this together and show you how easy it is and how beautiful they look
so on to my second apron I've already done the base so I've put some tape on it but this time because I've got more layers I think I want to put the layers on before I stick it to the actual base so you could do it either way because you, you still have space at the top to put your hand in and squish your glue in but this time because I've got a few more layers cut and I'm going to show you right here what I've got so I've got my front and my back I've got my sides which I can't decide on what colours to use so I've got um, the floral paper here I've got some gold here if I want to use it and I've also cut some blue so I'm not sure which bits and pieces I'll be using there um, to the side here I've got lots of little flowers so again I've used all the papers that are actually in the kit the only addition I've used here is a tiny bit of green and um, just some scraps of green that I have and I've just cut them out with the little leaf dies so you got all these little dies included in the kit so many little leaves and flowers which you can layer up and then I've used my stamp here and embossed it with some white embossing powder in fact I'll show you the embossing powder I've used it's called Glacier White and I've just stamped thanks a bunch and that's going to create my pocket to hold on my flowers again I've got my handles cut here like the previous one and all I'm going to do is start layering this up and then put it on here and then it's going to go on the base
have um, both my cute little apron boxes done a baking theme one which I've kept a bit more simple but again really adorable and like I said before the papers and everything I've used here are entirely from the kit so came out really really cute I love them and then this one a bit more on the floral side with a bit of bling with the gold and then some gold accents here at the front and I'm just waiting for that to dry but they came out super adorable and they look so cute just stood up next to each other and um with these shapes you can easily create a card base I'm just going to quickly show you because you have got a full solid die which you can create a card base with and add your layers and then also this particular smaller die which um is smaller than the actual base die because the base die is this one here with the little holes on the top this one is a smaller die you can actually if you wanted to make it as a, a recipe box cut lots of cut lots lots of this shape out and add them inside as recipe cards for the person you're gifting it to really really adorable so many things you can do with them but i really hope i've inspired you to create something with this amazing kit the link as always is going to be in the description box so please check it out and thank you so much for stopping by so i will see you all very soon take care bye